Welcome everybody. My name is Lorette and this is The Learning Tube. And today we have a special guest with us. This is our good friend, Mr. Greg Caesar. Now we've known Greg for what, 20 years? We're probably just hitting 21 years. Can you imagine that? Years. Yeah. Can you imagine that? We like Greg's like we've seen each other grow up. Like <laughs> you, you met me before I like no kids, no husband, no like out of college, right? So wow, it's been a long time. And during that time, we built a great relationship. Greg is, you know, one of my great friends. We talk all the time. And you know, we not only talk about just life, but business. Now Greg is a master when it comes to businesses, and he's helped our business. And, you know, many of you guys know that we have a tour company in Jamaica, and Greg <laughs> is responsible for uh, taking our tour company to the next level. You know, I would tell him things. He's like, hey, why don't you guys do this? Or why don't you guys try this? He does that with all of our businesses. Like, you can't have a regular conversation with Greg without him <laughs> saying, hey, have you guys ever done this? Have you tried this? Or you should implement this. And all of his ideas, when you implement them, they make us money. I mean, he took us from just being a regular tour company to, you know, winning awards and making all this extra money. And I always credit him for how he helped us, you know, structure our business. And he does that once again with a lot of things that we do. So Greg is like a money money machine with his thoughts and ideas. He sees something and he knows where the money gap is, like where you're leaving money on the table. So he's brilliant when it comes to that. Great when it comes to ideas and masterminds. And today, <laughs> Lakia says, I need some of those ideas. <laughs> but, um, you know, today Greg is going to be sharing with us what he's doing in the Amazon space. Now, the great thing I love about what he's sharing today is that it's not something new. Like you may meet somebody, oh, I just tried this new thing and it's working for me. But Greg's been doing this for a while. So it's like tried, tested, and, you know, it's not some fly by night thing. It's something that he's been doing. His students are successful with it. And now he wants to share it with you. So I'm really excited that Greg is with us today. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you, Greg, to take us away and let us know what you're doing and how you have this, this secret strategy that a lot of people don't know about, but it's right under their nose. And you're going to share it with us today. So, all right, guys, first of all, uh, thank you for that wonderful intro. And can you believe when we first met, my youngest was two years old. And he is now a year after graduating college. So that's unbelievable. Uh, but guys, do I have your permission to fire you guys up and show you something that is incredible, something that we're doing that is uh, unique? And it's been under your nose all along. If I have your permission, let me know in the chat box. Okay, we are getting some yeses. Awesome, 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 awesome. So guys, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the easiest way to create and build a six-figure uh, business by tapping into a vault of hungry buyers and being able to create a monthly stream of recurring revenue without you having to drive traffic, personally sell anything, or do any marketing whatsoever. And I know this is a, a huge promise, but I promise that by the end of this training, I am going to over deliver on that promise. So I need your attention. Please turn off your cell phones. Please turn off Facebook. And if you're serious about building your internet business, let your significant other know for the next 60 minutes, you're going to be busy. Because what I'm about to show you just might change your mindset and your life and how you look at your business. So who am I? At least uh, Lorette told you a little bit about me, but I started um, in 1997 working with local businesses. I had a regular job. I was working for a company. And one day I had a boss say to me, when I tell you to do something, you do it. And you know what I realized that day? I was unemployable. So um, that day, uh, I, I told him, uh, I quit. I'm going to start a business on this internet thing that everybody keeps talking about. So I had to go home and tell my wife I quit. And I told her we're going to start a business. She's no longer a stay-at-home mom. I'm going to have to uh, give back the company car. We're going to rent the house out. And we're going to move in with your mom so I can get started. Needless to say, I was on the couch for a couple weeks. Um, but since then, uh, around 2002 is when I started um going out and teaching people um, 
how to, that's when I first started selling online. And, and here's the reason why I did that. I wanted to get more local clients because I figured if I was selling online, I could say, hey, why are you hiring the other guy? They don't sell anything. I do. So here's what ended up happening. I became good at selling products online. Uh, since then, I've sold over 100,000 ebooks, courses, and products. In fact, my customer database is somewhere in the neighborhood of 150,000 people. Then the weirdest thing happened. Um, I went out and started working with some of the most brilliant marketers. People started calling me and wanting to know what I was doing. Then around 2003, um, that was the first time I was invited to come speak at a seminar. And guess what? That was the first time I met Lorette because it was at their office was the first time I came to speak. Since then, I've spoken international. Uh, I've been to Singapore, Malaysia. As a matter of fact, I've been to Malaysia and uh, Singapore with Lorette. So we, Jamaica, that was an interesting one. Uh, so I've been able to travel all over the world teaching people how to build and grow a business online. Now, I do wanna let you know, because a lot of times people say to me, must be nice, you're so lucky. And I just wanna be honest with you, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Uh, my dad came from Haiti in the late 60s and he was making a dollar an hour. And so to tell you, we were broke and poor is an understatement. But there's a difference between mental poverty and physical poverty, right? My dad taught us the difference, right? My, my friends that lived in the neighborhood, they're still there today, 40 years later, still living in the same projects that I grew up in. They don't even know they're not supposed to be there. See, that's mental poverty. We were physically poor. In other words, we didn't have the money, but my dad was looking for the vehicle. He understood there was a vehicle. For him, his vehicle became real estate. And uh, he went out and started buying, you know, multiple properties in the town. Uh, my dad passed away in uh, 2022. And when he passed away, he left the house for each one of his kids. So coming from a man who's making a dollar an hour, that immigrant taught me a lot. So, and I tell you this because when I started my business, I had no experience, no money, no clue what I was doing. So if, if I, the son of an immigrant can do that, there should be nothing stopping you from going out and achieving your dreams as well. So. Uh, here's a question. Just imagine what it would be like if you knew how to make more money online and in less time and with less effort. Making money is knowledge. That's all it is. If you aren't making the money that you want to make, it's one of two things. It's either you don't have the knowledge or you're, you're not taking the action to do that. Uh, what if you don't have to worry about that? What if you can get a shortcut, right? And that's what having a mentor does for you. It, it A mentor short, shortcuts the process for you. And what if you can build a real business, but not have to wait six months or whatever to, to start making money. What if you can start making money very soon? One of my students just launched, launched a project. Uh, it went live yesterday and he's already made his first sale on, on his first day, right? So what if you can be able to do that and be able to generate money without having to work 90 hours a week to be able to do this? So what is this business, guys? It's an Amazon business. But here's the key. We're not doing Amazon the same way everybody else is doing Amazon. We're doing something completely different, and I'm going to show you what that is. Now, if I am going to start a business of all the things that I could do, why Amazon? And the reason is simple. Amazon already has millions of hungry buyers who go to that website for the sole purpose of buying. Think about it. What is Amazon Prime? People, Most of us here have a Prime account. And what are we doing? We're paying Jeff Bezos and Amazon money, which is I think 200 bucks a year, for the sole purpose of giving them more money. We pay them money so we can buy more stuff for them. I mean, think about that from a mindset standpoint. That's the exact type of customer that you wanna be in front of. So now, so what motivated me to start this business? And this is a true story. It was 2014 and everyone was talking about internet, um, uh, Amazon. You gotta sell on Amazon, you gotta sell on Amazon. So I, I looked at it and I thought, man, so if I wanna sell this blender, I have to order a thousand blenders from China at $20 a piece, that's $20,000. Then you're telling me I gotta give them away for free or very cheap on Amazon so I can hopefully uh, get ranking and start making sales. And I thought about that and that scared the bejesus out of me. I said, that doesn't make any sense. So I didn't do anything. And it was uh, 4th of July, 2014. I went to a barbecue where uh, a good friend of mine who's an internet marketer was having this barbecue party. And another friend of ours showed up to the party and he was with his kids. 
And he said to me, you wouldn't believe what my daughter is doing. And I said, what, what is she doing? And he goes, she is making $40, upwards of $40 a day on Amazon. And at the time she was eight years old. And let me tell you, that infuriated me because here I am, world-class marketer. I'm traveling all over the place, teaching people about building uh, wealth online. And an eight-year-old is kicking my butt on Amazon. Now, most people, that's where they give up and say, oh, this is terrible. But this is when I got the fuel for my fire and the motivation because it gave me an aha moment. Because mentally for me, at that moment, I said, if an eight-year-old can do it, well, why can't I? Right? If an eight-year-old can do it, why can't I? So that's how I got started. So let me show you where I was back then. So as you can see here, um, between um, January through uh, January 1st through August 31st, uh, August 18, 2014, we didn't make not even a dime on Amazon. My product went live on the 14th. And as you can see here, within 24 hours, I made my first sale, $9.00. And 95 cents. And I'm jumping for joy over this $9 and 95 cents. Now, my wife thinks I'm crazy. She's like, it's $9 and 95 cents. Why are you so happy? Well, there's two ways to look at this. In the short term, it sucks. What a waste of time. I can't even buy a cup of coffee and a sandwich at Starbucks for $9 and 95 cents. But see, I'm a long term thinker, and I hope you guys are as well. So I said, well, what if I could make $9.95 a day, but 10 different ways, right? So basically I'm failing 10 times a day. Well, that's $99.50 a day or $36,317.50 a year. Well, that's what I looked at it as, right? And even if you're someone who's making, I don't know, $100,000, $200,000 a year, would an extra 36,000 change your life? And the answer should be an absolute yes. So let's continue. For the rest of the month, so between the uh, 18th and the 31st, I did $69.89. So I'm getting even more and more excited. Um, then from there, month number two, I did $374.28. By this point, I'm so excited. I am doing cartwheels off the side of the garage. I'm so damn happy. Now, my wife still thinks I'm crazy because she's like, okay, it's 300 bucks. So what? Well, it wasn't until month number three that she started to say, well... Maybe you're on to something because now I'm at $1,987.11. Guys, literally three months into a brand new business and I'm already at 2 k per month in sales. Now, let me give you some shocking statistics here. Between August when I got started and November, uh, the time of that last screenshot, we have a total of probably $40, $50 in cost and about five hours in time invested. In other words, it cost me like 10 to $15 a month uh, and about an hour and a half a month is the time of, uh, that I had invested into getting this business to where it is at that point. So guys, I want to let you know that results are not typical, although I'm going to uh, walk you through the system that we are using to build our business. Look, let's be real. Not everyone is going to get results. Not everyone who watches a training are going to go out and take action, right? So for that reason, I'm going to let you know results are not typical. I am not a typical guy. Now, I hope you're not a typical person as well because Alicia and Lorette told me you guys are not typical and you guys are willing to work and take action. But let me say this. I'm going to be willing and very happy to share with you for free exactly what is working for us today. But let me say this, if you are looking for a do nothing, sit on your butt, make a million dollars program, you're on the wrong training. You might as well get off now and go do something else. Go watch TV because that is not what I teach. I do not believe in get rich quick. What I do believe in is giving you a realistic way to build a 3K per month business and then learning how to scale that uh, to six figures or more over the course of the next one, two, three years. This is the business. You got to work. You got to invest time. Now, Although what I show you will be the absolute easiest thing you're ever going to do compared to other types of businesses, you're going to have to invest some time. You're going to have to invest some thought in your business. Now, so what are we going to cover? Secret number one, how you can build a very profitable and successful business in no time, even if you have no marketing experience. Secret number two, small untapped markets are more profitable than large ones. I know, sounds crazy, but I will explain. And then there's secret number three an untapped category on Amazon that is way easier to make money in than any other category on 
Amazon. So let's go over secret number one. You can build a very profitable and successful business in no time, even if you have zero marketing experience. So let's talk about this. How do you build a business without having to do any of the work. Most internet marketers think that building an internet business has to be complicated and it has to take a lot of time. There are easier ways, guys, right? So you can build a very profitable and successful business if you learn how to leverage existing resources instead of creating them from scratch. So what do I mean, right? You can build your business from scratch or you can leverage an existing business. Amazon is that business that you can leverage. I mean, think about it. Right now, you're watching this training. Your computer is powered up, right? Well, how did you get the power to your computer? Didn't you just take a plug and stick it in the wall? Let me ask you, do you know where that ele electricity came from? Did you go in the backyard and mix some water and some protons and electrons to make that electricity? No, you just stuck your plug in the wall and you siphoned off some of the power from the grid to power your device. You don't even know how it got in the wall, nor do you care. Right. And that is what Amazon has. Amazon already has millions of customers who are already going to that platform to buy product. So what do you want to do? You need to tap into that resource and put yourself in front of those people. Now, for the most part, did you also know that uh, 99, 90 to 95 percent of what Amazon sells is other people's products? They're not even selling their own stuff. Now, when Jeff started the company, he was very smart. He said, well, I can go out and write a million books and make myself a couple million dollars, or I can sell a million other people's books and make billions of dollars. Well, which one is easier? He'd still be writing books today. So what did he figure out? It's much easier to sell other people's stuff and take a percentage than it is for me to go out and find thousands of products for me to sell on my own, okay? So very smart of him. Now, Amazon also does advertising. When you see an ad on Google, on Facebook, on YouTube, and all those other places selling a product on Amazon, for the most part, that is Amazon running that ad, selling your product, right? And guess what? They pay for the ads. Think of how crazy that is. But who do you think is going to have a better price uh, uh, marketing-wise with Google or Facebook or YouTube? You and I or Amazon? Well, Amazon's going to get that traffic for pennies. So, of course, they're willing to invest in making some of those sales because everybody wins. Okay. Now, Amazon also does something called retargeting. Now, for those of you who aren't sure what retargeting is, let me give you an example. Imagine you're on a website and you're looking at a purple couch. Now, you leave that website and you're now on a website looking at a red Toyota. And here is an ad for the purple couch on the red Toyota website. And you're thinking, well, how did these Toyota people know I wanted a couch? Well, they don't. The ad is designed to follow you around until you buy the product. So when someone looks at your product on Amazon, Amazon will keep showing them your product no matter where they go on the internet until they buy the product. Amazon also does that in email. So for example, if someone looks at your product and they don't buy, Amazon sends them an email that says, hey, did you know this product is still for sale? You can go here and get it. The other thing is Amazon does your fulfillment for you. So let me explain that. There's two ways to sell your product on Amazon. One is called FBM, Fulfilled by Merchant, and the other one is FBA, Fulfilled by Amazon. So let me break both of those down. Fulfilled by Merchant. So your product is on Amazon. Somebody buys your product. Amazon then sends you an email that says, hey, Bob, hey, Mike, hey, Sue, you just made a sale. You've got to now go to the post office and deliver that product to the customer. So you're always going back and forth to the post office. Okay, that's FBM. Now, FBA, fulfilled by Amazon. Here's the difference. Again, your product is on the Amazon marketplace. And now what happens is when someone buys your product, except this time, the email that you get from Amazon says, hey, Bob, hey, Mary, hey, Sue, you just made a sale, but don't worry about it. We've already shipped the product to the customer. We're going to take care of the customer service. We're going to handle everything that needs to be done. And then we're going to cut you a check for your money uh, in a week, right? Now, did you notice Amazon is doing the work? Amazon does the marketing. Amazon pays for the ads. Amazon fulfills the product, right? Amazon is doing everything. Look at my inbox here. As you can see, it says Amazon has shipped 
the item you sold. Amazon has shipped the item you sold, right? So Amazon is doing all of the work. So my question is, how much easier is it for you to succeed when you have a partner who's willing to do most of the heavy lifting? This is why this is not a get rich quick. The work is getting done. It's just that most of it is getting done for you on your behalf from a very smart partner, okay? Okay, guys, secret number two. Instead of one high volume, super competitive product, you are better off in several smaller niche markets that nobody cares about. So what do we mean? Okay, how do you build a six figure business without having a six figure product? Most internet marketers think the only way to build a six figure business online is to find a really hot product to sell that millions of people are searching for. I'm going to tell you this, instead of one high volume, super competitive product, you're better off in several smaller niche markets that nobody cares about. Nobody's paying attention. So what do I mean by that? Guys, let's be real. Products that are going to sell and make you six figures are going to have six figures of competition. Think about this. You think the competitor, someone who's making a million dollars a year on a niche is going to allow you to just walk in there and take their market share away from them? It's not going to happen. They're going to make it so difficult for you to compete, it'll make your head spin. The reality is this. Instead of one product that's going to make you $50,000 a month, isn't it easier to find 10 products that only do $5,000 per month? Right? I'd rather be doing that than trying to find that one product that's going to make me 50 k because that's a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of competition uh, I've got to fight. So the reality is this. Small markets like those, they're a waste of time for the big players. They don't want to waste their time. So let me give you an example. Could you imagine the board of IBM or Microsoft or even you know Facebook? They're sitting around a table and somebody comes up with an idea and says, man, wouldn't it be great if we can launch this product and make $9,000 a month? This would be great, right? Could you see the board sitting around talking about that? It, that doesn't even cover the cost of security for one of the security people, right? So it's a waste of time. Somebody who's a big affiliate on ClickBank, who's making six or seven figures, they can't waste their time on something that's going to make them $2,000 a month. It's, it's a complete waste of time for them. So but the beauty about when you go into these markets without the competition, you're going to rank much faster and, and it's much easier for you to get to the point where you're making your first sale. So remember this, guys, much easier to make 5000 than it is to make 50000 So let me give you another example. Imagine, again, you're selling 10 products. Now, your 10 little products only do two sales a day which is not success, guys. That's a product doing two sales a day. You're not retiring off of something like that. But if you're doing it 10 different ways, and let's assume you're selling your product at $27. Let's do the math. Well, that's $540 a day recurring. W would that change your life if you had that opportunity? And the answer should be yes. So here is the secret sauce, guys. There are massive untapped categories on Amazon where you could make six figures or more that people aren't paying attention. So most internet marketers like to follow the herd and they want to sell the same old things that everybody else is selling. And here's the reality. Most internet marketers think Amazon is saturated. And it is if you're doing the same thing everybody else is doing. And there's no way for you to be able to generate income on Amazon. This is the key. Selling inform high-end information courses on Amazon is completely untapped and wide for the picking. Guys, did you hear what I just said? Selling high-end information-based courses, how-to information-based courses is completely untapped and wide for the picking. So what do I mean? What is information? Information is nothing more than teaching people stuff. How to do A, how to do Y, how to do Z. I mean, what is college? College is nothing more than a very expensive four-year information course. How to do accounting, how to do algebra, how to do philosophy. I mean, that's what college is, right? It's a very expensive information course. So what does that mean? Information has been around for thousands of years and information will continue to be around for thousands of years. And here's the good news. There are millions of people who already go to Amazon every single day looking for information. Think about Kindle. Think about the books. But what's the beauty is I don't have to teach them to go to Amazon to go looking for it. They're already there, right? Now, what's the challenge with Kindle? What's the challenge with books? Number one, there's thousands of competitions uh, uh, in that 
those categories. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of books and competitors that you're going up against. The other thing is margins, right? How much can you sell a Kindle book for? But what is the key here? The key is to repackage your content in the form of uh, the physical and get your product placed on the physical side of Amazon, not on the book side, not on the Amazon downloadable side. So we got to make our product physical. Now I'm going to give you some examples of what that looks like in a second. Now, the physical side is not only 10 times bigger than Kindle and books uh, combined, but it's also more profitable. So let me give you an example. I had an ebook that I was selling on Kindle. I was getting, I don't know, $2.99 all day long for it. I took that product, repackaged it as physical, and now make anywhere from $27 to $40 for the identical product. All I did was change how it was delivered. Not one word was changed in the product, right? So let's show you some examples of physical formats. Number one is a CD, right? You can take your content and if it's something that you can teach in audio, you record it and you make it, put it on a CD. By the way, an average CD holds about one hour of content. So that means it only takes you one hour to make a CD, right? Then there is a DVD, right? A DVD is going to hold more content, probably about three or four hours of video is what a DVD can handle. So how do you pick between the two? If it's something that you can teach someone without them needing to see it, then put it on an audio CD. For example, I can teach you how to lose weight just by giving you audio information, but I can't teach you how to drive a car with audio. I have to show you that. So in that case, I would use a DVD to teach you how to drive a car. Now, I know what you're thinking. I am already ahead of you. But Greg, no one uses a CD or a DVD anymore, right? Nobody does that. And, and I hear you. I'm about to show you something, guys. And, and anytime between now and the rest of this training, anything I show you that you say, whoa, I did not know that, I want you to type head blown into the chat to let me know that 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 was an aha moment for you, right? So some people use CDs, some people don't, so what? I am not selling to the people who don't use CDs. I'm selling to the people who do. But again, I want to dis dispel some of the myths for you. Let's go to Amazon and do a search. Recently, Amazon uh, has a new feature that actually shows you uh, the, the amount of sales a product has gotten, right? So let's go to Amazon. And let's take a look. Okay, so let's go. Let me move this here. I wonder if I can minimize this thing. Okay, let's go to Amazon. And I'm going to type in, okay, first of all, let me show you something, guys. Uh, you think no one's using DVDs? Let's go to Amazon and type in blank cassette. Look at this, guys. The very first product. 4,000 people bought blank cassettes off of Amazon last month. That's the first product. But we're not here talking about cassettes. We're, we're talking about DVDs. Let's type in weight loss DVD. By the way, if that was a head-blown moment, type in head-blown in the chat. Okay, look at the first product, guys. Um, they sold 50 units last month at $29. You know, I'm terrible in math. So let's take 29 times, oops, times $50, oh, 50 times 29, uh, let's do that again, uh, 29 times 50, okay, so they did $1,450, you're not going to retire off of that, but what if you had 50 products that were making you 50 sales a month at $29. What does that come out to now? That's, <laughs> do the math on that guy, it's $60,000, $70,000 a month, right? That's why I say go after smaller products, but you go wide, you do a whole bunch of them. Uh, let's look at the next one, $59, and they sold 400 units last month. That's 23,000, right? Look at this one, 23 
dollars, they sold 200 units last month. $72 sold 100 units. That's that's $7,200. Um, look at this product. 900 people bought this product at $19. Teaching people um, AB, ab blast exercises. You think he is happy um, making $19,000 last month selling his little DVD? Now, it's interesting. The guy who's teaching the course actually looks like he needs to lose some weight. So that's an interesting concept that we're being taught weight loss by someone who needs to lose weight. But that's a whole nother story. Um, let's keep on looking. Let's look at, let's type in exercise for seniors DVD. Look at that, 300 units at $29, it's a $10,000 product. 800 units at $29, that's a $30,000 product. Um, 200 units at 29. Guys, if you if these are head blown moments, make sure you type in head blown in the chat. Um, look at this one here, 300 units times $29. Share yoga DVD. Look at this product. Thousand people bought this product at $19. This one DVD has made this lady $19,000 in the previous month. So guys, um, I should have dispelled for you, are people buying DVDs? Are people buying CDs? The answer is absolutely yes. We don't care about the people who aren't, it's the people who do. Last month, on Amazon, here's a, a screenshot of a keyword tool that I use. Uh, I found out that 421,000 people searched for a CD uh, last month on Amazon, 341,000 searched for a CD player. Okay, how about DVDs? 575,000 searched for a DVD and 268,000 searched for a DVD player. Now remember, just like you thought, Nobody uses DVDs and CDs anymore. So do your competitors. Your competitors are thinking, nobody uses CDs anymore. So why am I going to create that? That's why it's a wide open market. Now, there's other formats your content can come in. Oh, by the way, this is a PlayStation. Notice uh, Sony PlayStation and an Xbox. Both of those have a DVD player on them. And between the two of them, they sold almost by the end of 2022, they sold almost 40, 000, 40 million units okay so what are the other formats usb you can put your content on a usb drive how about a flash card set you can make your content on paper right think about study guides how about posters i've got a poster we sell we do about 600 units per month on a poster how about a cheat sheet an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with content on it i will let you know that i've got a cheat sheet that we sell um i paid someone $60 to create it for me. And the last time I did the math, in the last 10 years, I've probably sold about 60, 70,000 copies of that thing. Um, now, the most expensive item on this page cost me about $2 to duplicate. The least expensive item, which is the cheat sheet, cost me about 18 cents to duplicate. So something that cost me 18 cents, I turned around and sold for $16.90, including shipping, okay? So now there's something else that we figured out. And that is how to sell high-end courses on Amazon, but make them fully downloadable. But there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. So let me talk about that. So instead of even having a DVD or a CD or something to ship to them, what I figured out, and I saw one other person doing this, is I can actually put my content on my website. And here's the process. You put your product on Amazon. You sell it between $27 and $197, okay? Now, what happens is Amazon needs to send them something. So what is it you're having Amazon send them is the username and password to then go to your website and download the content. Guys, what happens when they get to your website? They've got to create a username and password. You're building an email list of buyers, okay? This right here is absolutely powerful. Now, let me show you what happened after our fourth month. We went from... Uh, 2000 we went to three thousand four dollars and 19 cents then we went to two thousand one hundred and sixty five dollars and 18 cents that was january 2015 and at that point i'm thinking to myself whoa our sales went down by 30 percent what's going on here right so i was nervous about that but it did bounce back the next month we were at two thousand five hundred and twenty one dollars 
Now, let me give you the simple four-step process you're going to use to build your business, your information-based business on Amazon. So we're going to find something to sell. Notice I didn't say create it. We're going to find it. Um, then it's, let's evaluate. Is it any good on Amazon? Then it's, can I rank? I don't want to be on Amazon and be on page 90. Can I get to page one? And then it's, can I get content to create and sell? Now, notice something. I didn't say, can I drive traffic? I didn't say, can I do marketing? And I didn't say, can I create landing pages or use click funnels or anything else, right? All of that is not needed. Now, can you and should you drive traffic? Absolutely, drive some extra traffic. It's, only to, it's your product, you make more money. But do you have to? No, the sales numbers I showed you up to uh, May 2015, we didn't do any traffic generation. That was all organic, okay? So now let's find a hungry market. Now I'm gonna tell you something. What do all lucrative niche markets have in common? What do they all have in common? It's simple, guys. Somebody else is already selling to them very successfully. If you wanna make money, don't try to reinvent the wheel. You've got to find what other people are success successfully selling, and that's what you want to do as well. Now, let's use AI to find a hungry niche market with something that I call a power word. So what is a power word? A power word is a word that when I type it into the keyword tools, it lets me know that people are looking for information to solve their problem. They're not looking for a blender. They're not looking for a car. They're not looking for a glove. They're looking for a video. They're looking for some audio. They're looking for a poster. They're looking for a flashcard to solve whatever problem they have. So let me show you how I did that. So I went to, uh, you guys should be familiar with uh, Bard. Bard is just another version of ChatGPT. I know that you guys are experts in AI because Alicia and Lorette are teaching you guys. So let me show you what I did uh, in Bard. So I went to Bard and I said, hey, you're smarter than I am. I got a question for you. Give me a list of, um, right here, it says, give me a list of niche markets that someone would go to Google and they would start their search with the words, how to. Give me 20, that in, and also give me their search volume. Look at this. Um, how to grow organic vegetables. 17,000 people a month search for that. Um, how to code a website, 33,000. How to repair old furniture, 8,100. How to invest in cryptocurrency, 8,100. How to write a children's book, 8,100. How to make homemade soap. I didn't know that many people wanted to make soap. Um, 9,900. How to train a dog. 49,000. Um, how to start a blog. 29,000. Who would have ever know? How to play chess. 19,000 people a month want to learn how to play chess. Okay. So then I said, okay, that's good. Let's see if I can get some more out of you. So then I said, hey, um, give me a list of 20 how-to product ideas that I can create a video course in and um, the niche has very high search volume, include the search volume. So here we go. How to create digital art. 281,000 people a month are searching for this. Beginner's guide to woodworking. Um, that is 161,000. How about calligraphy, teaching people how to do handwriting, 110,000. I do not even know what the heck upcycling is. But 88,000 people a month are searching for upcycling. Well, that's something I need to find out, right? Can I create content in that space? Um, baking bread, um, we have 106,000. So then I went to our good old friend, ChatGPT. And then I said, hey, I've got a question for you. Give me a list of 10 to 20 um, how-to information-based courses uh, that have sold more than 50,000 units, okay? So what am I doing? I'm saying, show me where the money is. And look at this, Tableau 2020 A to Z. I don't even know what Tableau is, but they sold 210,000 core copies of their course. Guys, do the math. Let's pretend they sold everything at $10. That's a $2.1 million project, right? Beginner's Guide to Excel, 128,000 sales. The Complete Financial Analyst course, that was 247,000. 
Um, investing in stocks, that was 110,000. How about learning AWS certification? That is 566,000. Guys, do you see how I use the system to tell me what I should do? In other words, I don't tell the system, I let the system tell me. So here's some other examples of power words. Okay, you just can't make this up. How to grow weed indoors for beginners. Um, then I saw how to grow weed outdoors for beginners. A lot of weed heads in the United States. Um, how to eat clean, how to edit videos. You know why how to edit videos is huge right now? Everybody wants to be a YouTube star. Everybody wants to be a TikTok star. Um, how to fall asleep, um, how to get rid of bed bugs, how to get rid of acne, how to have twins. Now, I know the secret to having twins. You dim the light a little bit, put on a little Barry White uh, playing in the background and a little hanky-panky, and we can have some twins. In fact, I'm taking volunteers. If you want to volunteer for this product, just make sure you let me know in the chat box. Oh, actually, my wife would kick my behind if I create a product like that. Um, how to install a toilet, how to improve your credit score, how to lose weight, how to, follow, how to lose belly fat. Okay, how to lose weight. That's that big market, right? How to lose belly fat. That's that smaller market. Nobody cares about that. It's the same product, but it's a smaller market, okay? So now we've decided we're going to create a course on uh, how to install toilets, okay? We decided that's our product. Now we need to see, is it selling on Amazon? So guys, you want to sell where there is competition. Guys, type this into the chat box. Why do you think you need to sell where there is competition. Let's see what you guys think. Type that into the chat box. Why do you want to sell where there is competition? Let's see what you guys think, okay? Um, there is um, customers and clients. Shakisha, that's a good one. Potential customers are already looking. Ken, that's great. Nicole says demand is there. Proven market, that is Michaela. Free marketing, I like that one, uh, Janelle. Um, proof of demand, already buyers. You guys are great. There's one that you're missing though. Everyone has missed it. Okay, Elaine, you got, you, you got close, Elaine. You're very close. I'm gonna tell you guys what the answer is. It's so you can copy. All right, let's be politically correct. So we can model after. Think about it, right? If I go to Amazon and I see someone did a million dollars on a product, guess what they just told me? They told me what to sell, how to sell it, where to sell it, what the package should be, what the title should be, what the colors of the package should be, what I should put in my description. And they also told me what my content needs to be. Guys, does that make sense? They just told you 100% of everything you need to do before you even lifted a finger. Guys, it really is that simple. I wish I could make it uh, harder than that, right? So I am only going to sell what's already selling. I'm not going to be the first person to sell something. Never in a million years. I'm only going to sell what's already selling and also making money on, on Amazon. Now, my philosophy is this, if they're making money, why can't I? All I have to do is rank, right? Think about this. If my neighbor across the street puts up a lemonade stand and she did a million dollars with a lemonade stand in front of her house and no marketing, no advertising, just the cars driving up and down the street, she made a million dollars. Well, what do you think I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna start a hot dog stand. I'm gonna put a lemonade stand in front of my house. Why would they only buy her lemonade and not mine, unless I say, you know, my lemonade sucks, don't buy it, which I'm not going to do. But why would they buy her lemonade and not my lemonade? So long as I could rank and be in the same place as her, I can make sales. Okay. So now, guys, what happened? We've decided we're going to sell a course on how to install toilets. We found out, hey, other people are making money installing, teaching people how to install toilets on Amazon. Now the question is, can I get to the first page of Amazon? And the reality is, it's all in the keywords. Amazon is a very basic search engine, okay? So let's explain. Most people search for a solution to a problem 
on Amazon. They don't search for a product. Why? Because they don't even know the product exists. They go to Amazon and they say, get rid of back pain, right? Now, here's the advantage. Most of the marketers and the sellers on Amazon, they sell by the name of their product and not by what people search. So they put on their ABC gizmo. Well, I don't know what ABC gizmo is. I never heard of it. So how can I look for ABC gizmo? Well, that creates a huge opportunity for smart marketers like yourself. So I want to do a quick test. I'm going to show you two titles. Okay. For a product and the product is a time management course. Now, I want you to tell me which title is going to make more money on Amazon. Is it title A or is it title B? Now, part two is I also want you to tell me why you chose A and why you chose B. Now, let me throw a monkey wrench. Both titles are going to be amazing titles. If I ran them on a TV commercial, if I ran them on a print ad, they'd probably make equal amount of sales. But on Amazon, only one of them would make more sales. So here we go. Is it A, how CEOs, whoop, how CEOs get more things done in an afternoon, the secret to super productivity? Or is it B, time management course for CEOs, how to increase productivity and get more things done in an afternoon? You guys let me know, A or B, and why you think A and why you think B. Let's take a look. Okay, so far, one is kicking butt. Okay, one is out beating the other by a lot. Wow. Uh, let's see. Oh, Kurt, or is that Kent? That's a great answer. Um, okay, B is catching up. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you the answer. It's B. L let me tell you why. What are we selling? We're selling a time management course. Even though A is a sexy title, it's got no keywords in there. Not a single one. So if, if they go into Google or Amazon and they type in time management, they're going to find us because it's in the title. If they type in, type in time management course, they're going to find us. If they type in how to time management, they're going to find us. If they type in increased productivity, they're going to find us. If they type in how to increase productivity, they're going to find us. Even though A is an amazing title, there's not a single keyword in that thing for anyone to find us. So I'm never going to make any money, right? Right? So your competition on Amazon is not the market. It's the keywords in the market that's your competition. In other words, if you were in the weight loss market, which is probably a terrifying market for many people, weight loss market is not your competition. I'm not going to up against people in weight loss. My competition is the keywords in the weight loss market. In other words, lose belly fat. That has no competition in the weight loss market where weight loss has millions of people that I'm going to have to fight with. I'm never going to rank for that keyword, but I can rank for how to lose belly fat because nobody's thinking about that. Okay. That makes sense, guys. Okay. Now. We picked our product. We're going to how to install toilets. We found out it's making money. Then we found out, oh, yeah, I can get to the first page of Amazon really quick. Now the question is my content. I got to create the course. I got to create the information. Guys, did you notice content is the last step for me? It's not the first step. I've been teaching people for 20 plus years. And every single person I've ever taught before they worked with me, the first thing they did was create their content. And then they said, let me figure out how to sell the content. I do it in reverse. I say, let me see if I can sell it. And once I figure that I can sell it, then I go create it. Okay. So most people create content first. I only create content once I know I have a winner on my hands. So by the time I go to create that content, I'm not wasting my time, energy, or my money. Now, remember, don't reinvent the wheel, right? Repurpose what's already out there. Now, notice I didn't say copy what's out there. We're going to repurpose what's already out there. So where can you get content? Well, we got a really smart friend uh, called ChatGPT. Well, let's go to chat and let me show you what I typed in. Okay. So 
Look at this, guys. I need a video course on how to install a toilet. Now, notice I said a video course, so chat knows you got to give me content to make a video. So please give me an outline and also break down the time for each section. And look at what chat said. Okay, um, introduction, two minutes, a brief overview of the toilet installation process, list of tools and materials, section one, pre preparing the bathroom, five minutes, uh, how to remove the old toilet, preparing the floor and toilet flange. I don't even know what a toilet flange is. I didn't know that was needed. Why? Because I never installed a toilet. Um, how to uh, ensure the area is clean and level. Uh, didn't know that would be an issue. Setting the wax ring and the toilet flange. Again, never installed the toilet. Didn't know that. Uh, install. So do you guys see a guy who's never installed the toilet? Instantly, I know everything I need to know to install a toilet. And how do we do that? Guys, I let chat GPT. Now, there's many other ways that we can get the content, and let me show you some of them. First of all, maybe I'm a toilet installer. Maybe, you know, back in college, I got, you know, uh, maybe you got A's in algebra, geometry. Maybe you like to skydive. You like to scuba dive. Uh, maybe you like to ride unicycles. You can teach people how to do that share the knowledge in your head. That costs you nothing to do that. That costs you nothing to put that content together because it's already up here. It's already in your mind. Now, maybe you're like me. I got a D in geometry and I got an F in uh, calculus and an F in algebra. Well, math is not my thing. Um, I don't have enough balance to ride a unicycle. I used to be terrified of flying. So I don't understand why anybody would jump out of a perfectly safe plane that has a seatbelt that you can fly and you get some soda and coffee, uh, unless you're on Boeing and they like to drop doors out the window. That one I understand. But on most flights, we can sit very comfortably on that plane. Why would I want to jump out of that thing? Doesn't make any sense. So I cannot teach you how to skydive, right? But you know something? I can share the knowledge that's in somebody else's head. I can find someone who's a skydive instructor and say, hey, let's create a course on skydiving, right? I will go out and videotape you jumping out of the plane. Now, by the way, I'm going to do that from the ground. I ain't going to be up there with you. Now, as part of our clause, it's going to be this. Um, I'm going to pray that the skydiving works out for you and you don't hit the ground too hard and you don't make it because if that happens we still go live with the product and mr skydiver or i'm sorry we don't get to share in the profits because you didn't make it that was your decision to jump out that plane but we go forward <laughs> right but seriously i can share the knowledge that somebody else has i don't have to be the person who has the knowledge okay so um now kindle guys kindle is on amazon if someone is selling 1,000 Kindle eBooks a month, you think you can't take that and make that a physical product and sell it on Amazon? Well, it's already being sold on Amazon. It's just changing the format. So I'm always on Kindle looking at what's making money, right? Um, you can create it yourself. Uh, you can repurpose what's already out there. I like to outsource. I'd rather pay someone some money. You know, I'd rather pay someone $100 and let them create it for me than me create it myself. Um, PLR. If you guys aren't sure what PLR is, basically that's private label rights. That's when somebody creates content and then they'll sell you that content. And then they sell it to you with the intention of you having commercial rights and you could put your name on it and sell it as if you own it. Now, you can't put PLR on Kindle. You're going to get in trouble for that. But if I take that PLR and record it into a microphone and make it a CD, that's a whole new product. I could do that all day long. So yes, for what we're doing, you could take PLR and put it on the physical side because we're turning it into a whole new product, okay? Now, the one that I like is license. Let me tell you why license. So PLR, people who create content with the intention of selling the rights to it, they don't know, always create the best content. Now, with licensing, that's where I approach someone who's selling something very successfully and I say, hey, what would you charge me to sell me a license of your content where I can own it, sell it, and keep all the money for myself, right? That's license. Now, sometimes they will say, let's partner. Now, and you can do that. I partner on different projects all the time. But I'll be honest with you, I don't like partnering with selling content 
for a simple reason. So let me give you an example. Let's say we're, it's, you know, 2024. So in the year 2000, you created a product and you partnered with somebody who was a skydiver. Okay. So that person went up on a plane, you videotaped everything. They jumped out the plane. They flew for 20 minutes. It, you know, they spent an hour creating the content. Now this product is making a million dollars a year. How would you feel in the year 2024 paying someone half a million dollars, half of your money for something they did one time back in the year 2000? That would piss me off, <laughs> right? That's the reason I don't like to partner with content because I'm going to end up paying someone forever for something they did one time. I would rather pay them, be done with it. I never have to owe you again. Okay, guys, let's look at scaling your business. There's about five, four or five different ways to scale your business. So I'm going to give you two really quick ones. Um, the first one is just sell more of what you're already selling. If you sold, you know, uh, 10 units of product A per month or per day, let's figure out a way to get to 20 units. All you're doing is more eyeballs. That's very easy for you to do. Model number two is, well, you find new products. Yesterday, we are installing toilets. Today, we're teaching people how to get rid of acne. Yes, that's infinitely more work, but you can be in a thousand different niche markets if you want to, uh, if you did it that way. Now, imagine if you have product one does 5K per month, product two does 5K per month. What if products three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 did that, right? You see, building a business, small products at a time, you get the same thing at the end, which is the same amount. Because at the end of the day, I can't take individual products to Bank of America. I can only take money, right? So now your goal realistically is not to make a billion dollars. And if you're thinking that, you're thinking the wrong way. What you want to do is over the course of the next one to two, three years, build yourself anywhere, five, 10, 15 courses. Your aim is a thousand to 2000 a month per course. And guess what? At the end of that time, look, you could be making 10,000 or more per month. This is not a make money overnight course. If that's what, again, like I said, if that's what you're trying to do, you're in the wrong thing, okay? So now upsell. We gotta have upsell. It's a natural part of marketing, right? So here's what we're gonna do. The best person to sell to is someone who's already purchased from you. So how do we do that? Well, we let Amazon drive our sales and then we use the Amazon delivery system to upsell our customers more products with zero advertising costs. So Amazon does all the work for us. We actually put our upsell inside the package. How sneaky is that? Okay, now, in March of that year, I implemented what I call my better customer experience. Basically, it was, it took me about 30 minutes and about 40 uh, dollars worth of cost. Basically, what I did was I figured out a way to get more reviews for, from my customers. And let me show you what happened. Our sales was 2,500. We went to first month, 3,871, 4,913, 4,961, 4,865, right? All I did was get more reviews from August when we started to uh, March, 2015, which is my first six months. I had a total of 10 reviews. In March, when I implemented my better customer experience, the next six months, we had got 136 reviews. We went from 10 to 136. And today we're well over 800 reviews. So does the better customer experience work? Yes. And the thing is, I didn't have to give any free stuff away or anything like that. Okay. Now I'm about to show you another head blown moment. This is something that I call a kit. Okay. So what is a kit? A kit is the most profitable thing you can sell on Amazon. Basically, you're going to take two items that are sold for $10 each and you're gonna sell them as one unit. While everyone else sells them for $10 each, you combine them and you created value, so you're selling the same two items for $30 each, right? So let me give you a visual representation. Here is an apple. If you went to the grocery store and I said, hey, I got an apple for you, so give me $5 for that apple. You'd say, this guy is out of his mind. There's no way I'm giving him $5 for an apple, okay? Here is a gift basket with apples and pears, right? What is a gift basket from Harry and David with about 10 pears or 10 apples cost? It's like a hundred and something dollars. Why are people willing to pay $10 for the same apple from Harry and David, but they wouldn't go to the grocery store and pay $5 for that same apple? The human mind, once you combine something and create bundles, it, the human mind is tricked and it says value and it's willing to pay more money for that. So what does that look like when we're talking about information-based products? 
there's your bundle. You have multiple CDs. You have you throw in a, a cheat sheet. You have a CD and a workbook, right? There's your bundle. Okay. Here's a question: Which one of these would you pay a hundred dollars for? This CD on the left. By the way, I've seen one CD sell for a hundred bucks. It's not the norm. But would you do that for this, or would you do it for this? People are paying a thousand for the one on the right. Now, let me tell you this. Here's the secret. I didn't say we're creating 10 times more content on the right. The, the product on the right could be identical to the product on the left. All we're doing is we're breaking the content down into different pieces. So it looks like they're getting more product. We're not doing more work, guys. We're just breaking it down into different pieces. So it looks like more work. That was head blown moment. Type in head blown in the chat. So can I do books? Yes, you can do books. Um, and if you're going to do books, you do a book set. In other words, let's put three and four books together. So let's take a book that has eight chapters. Let's break them down into individual chapters. Now we've got ten, a 10 module book set. I could sell that for 60, 70 bucks. But if I sell it as one book, hey, that's a $15 book all day long. Okay. Guys, I want to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Let me know. Are you enjoying this training so far? Have you been getting head blown moments? Let me know while I get a drink of water. Okay. Oh, you guys rock. See, Alicia and Lorette told me you guys were awesome. Right? I told you guys I was going to show you something. It's not rocket science, but it's been right under our nose. It's just a shift in thinking. Right? It's just a small shift in thinking. So let's continue. What did we cover today? Secret number one, um, you can have a very profitable business in no time, even if you have zero experience. Why? We're going to let somebody else do the work. We're going to let somebody else who is happy to do the work, do the work for us. Okay. All we're going to do is piggyback off of that company, right? Secret number two, small untapped markets are more profitable. Sure. Small markets make less money, but small market has no competition. So that increases my ability to make money. And if I'm in a market with competition, it's almost impossible to compete with those guys, especially if I don't have that experience. Right? Secret number three, I could sell a blender. I could sell a washing machine. I could sell the gloves and the hats and the sweaters. Sure, I could do that. But do I want to go order a thousand washing machines? Do I want to order a thousand blenders and have them sitting in my garage? No, I want to sell an information product. Why? Because it's way easier for me to sell an information product than it is for me to create a blender. I can come up with an idea on Monday and be selling by Friday. Okay? So, guys, let's get some things out of the way. Why? An Amazon business. Why sell information on Amazon? Number one, guys, Amazon, 95% handoff business. 95% of the business is hands off. After you create your product, the hardest thing you have to do is put your CDs or DVDs or flashcards in a box and drop it off at the post office. That's the hardest thing you got to do, right? Um, then it's zero experience required. If an eight year old can beat my butt on Amazon, there is nothing stopping you from doing that. It doesn't require, you know, a PhD and all that stuff. Now, there's some things that you got to learn. I'll teach those to you. But you, you can start with absolutely zero experience. Because when I started, I had zero experience. Not a single bit. Okay, 100% buyer traffic. Who goes to Amazon? Looky lose or buyers, right? And I'm going to show you proof of that in a second. The traffic is free. Amazon is Happy to give you that traffic. Let me ask you guys a question. Is Google happy to give you free traffic? How about Facebook? You think Facebook is happy to give you free traffic? Nope. Amazon is happy to give you the free traffic. Why? Because Amazon makes money off of that. Guys, remember this. Amazon is a buyer search engine. Google is an information search engine, right? So that's why Amazon is willing to give it to you. Now, for me to make a DVD, what does that cost me? Dollar? Maybe dollar ten? Right? So much cheaper for me to make a DVD than it is for me to buy a blender at $20 a piece. Okay? Um, speed to market. This means I can come up with an idea on Monday and I could be selling by next Monday. Right? Now, blenders. If I wanted to sell a blender, I've got to find someone in China to make the blender. I've got to order them. They've got to ship them by sea. At minimum, we're talking six, seven months before I can start selling and start making money. Okay? Now, outsource. Right. The thing about Amazon and creating information is 
it's easy to outsource that. If I want to pay someone X number of dollars to create my content, I can absolutely do that. And nobody thinks of Amazon as a content distribution channel. People forget that Amazon started off with books and information. They think it's about the blenders and the shirts and all. Amazon is the largest content distribution channel there is. Want proof? They put Barnes & Noble out of business. When was the last time you seen a bookstore down your downtown, wherever you live? Doesn't exist anymore. Amazon put all those people out of business. Did humans stop looking for information? No, they're still looking for it, right? And all of that means it's much faster to your first sale and being able to start generating income than anything else you can do. That's why I say, yes, you're going to work, but this is way easier than anything else that you're going to go out there and try. Now, the number one reason why Amazon, anyone will tell you, if you're going to sell a product on your website, a good conversion rate is 1%. So if 100 people go to your website and one of them buys, in the world of marketing, that's considered very good. If you can get three, that's considered absolutely incredible. Well, let me show you something. Let me show you the conversion rates of a product that I had on Amazon. We were between 23% all the way up to 36% conversion rate. 36 out of 100 people bought the product. Why? Because they go to Amazon to buy things, okay? So guys, let's get some things out of the way. You don't need a website anymore. You don't need marketing. You don't need advertising. You don't need search engines. You don't need PPC. And if you cannot spell PPC, don't worry about it. You don't need it. You don't need Facebook. You don't need product fulfillment. You don't need Shopify. You don't need Google. You don't need ClickFunnels. You don't need competition. All the things that held you back in the past, you can throw those away because you don't need those anymore. Now the system is finally stacked in your favor. So question is, how fast can things happen? People ask me that all the time. Okay. Now I want to let you know something. Don't think get rich quick. That's not what you want. Long-term is what you want. But one of my students said to me, well, the reason you got the success you got is because you're a guru. I said, what? I put my pants on the same way you do every single day. What are you talking about? So I said, I'll tell you what, I'm going to create uh, a new account and I'm going to put a product in that account in a market that I know nothing about. By the way, I had to get permission from Amazon for that secondary account. So don't go create accounts like that. I had to get permission from that. Then I bought resale rights to a piece of content and I took it and turned it into a three-part DVD set. Okay. So let me show you what happened. So between January 1st, 2017 and April 20th, 2017, I made no sales. Well, my product went live somewhere around the 18th or 19th of April. And within 48 hours, boom, first sale, $47. Okay. Now look at this first month, $376. Look at uh, February 14th through March 14th, 2018, um, $776. How about uh, June 8th through July 9th, $2,239. Uh, February 4th through March 7th, 2019, $2,676. Um, March, February 22nd through March 25th, 2019, $2,951. Guys, I did zero marketing. I had zero reviews and I didn't give away any free products. So everything people told me I had to do to be successful on Amazon, I didn't have to do any of that. Okay. Now, but I learned a very big lesson with that product. I learned the difference between evergreen and non evergreen products. So what is an evergreen product? An evergreen product is a product you create once and you never have to change it ever. A non evergreen product, is the market changes and you've got to always change the content. Well, this particular product was a non evergreen market. And let me tell you what happened. So it was based off of the, the products I had in there were based off of what was going on currently in the market. And what that means is the day I created the product, it was already on the decline because the market was changing. The market was declining. Okay. So let me give you an example. What would you rather create? how to fall in a course on how to fall in love or a course on how to make money on MySpace. How many of you guys have a MySpace account, right? So if I created a course five years ago on how to make money on MySpace, the day I make that course, I'm on my way out of business versus if I create a course on how to fall in love, well, the way we fall in love a thousand years ago is the same way we fall in love a thousand years from today. The only difference is 
the things we do are going to be different. You still got to spend time with your significant other, communicate, take them out on dates and stuff like that. Well, a thousand years ago, we might take them out to the rock quarry or the cave and draw, you know, you know, Stonehenge signs on the walls. A thousand years from today, maybe that's going to be we're out on Mars or we're on a space station, but it's still the same thing. Okay. So now here's the thing. Eventually sales for that product went down to almost nothing, right? Very low. And then COVID hit. And I learned something, even though COVID hit and the world shut down, I was still making money in that account. So let me show you what happened. So I logged into that account and I saw between April 15th and April 23rd, 2020, this is in the middle when everything shut down in COVID, I did $534.88. While everyone else is out of work, when everyone else is thinking, how am I going to feed my family? I did $534.88 sitting on my butt. So I said, hmm, let me take things more serious in this account. Let me start putting and adding products. And let me show you what happened. Um, January 4th through January 11th, 2021, $1,509 in sales. Um, this is one day in January, $437 in sales. This is December 11th through January 11th, 2021, $4,756 in sales. Uh, February 16th through March 18th, $4,460. This is uh, June 6th through June 15th, 2021, $1,456. This is uh, August 28th through September 29th, 2021, $7,163 in sales. Uh, November 1st through December 15th, $9,561 in sales. Um, February 24th through March 3rd, 2022, $2,877. Uh, January 19th, um, 2023, that was $481 in sales one day. This is February 11th, 2023, one day, $879 in sales. Guys, that was just me sending a couple new products into that account. So let's get a couple things out of the way. I am nobody, Greg. Why would anybody buy from me? I'm nobody. Well, guess what? Not a single one of my products has my name on. I'm going to tell you something funny. You know where I get the names from? I pull them off the internet. I kid you not, I go find names on off the internet and that's the names that I put on my product. So if they don't care about that. They don't care what your name is. Uh, I live in another country. Um, can I sell uh, in, in the United States? Of course you can. Doesn't matter what country you're from, right? If you're in the UK, you could sell in the United States. If I'm in the United States, I can sell in Canada. If you're in Australia, you can sell in Singapore. All it is, guys, it's shipping. That's it. It's just where you ship your box to. That's all it is. Uh, information is free on YouTube. Sure it is. So is algebra. I could become a master at algebra just by going to YouTube, yet people are paying $40,000 a year to go learn that from the University of Connecticut. Why is that? Because they're not on, on YouTube at that moment. When they're on Amazon and they type in back pain, they're looking to buy a solution for back pain. So who cares who's on YouTube? Those aren't your buyers. Okay, um, what do I know? What can I teach? I told you I can create a course on skydiving even though I'm terrified of skydiving. I have no experience. Can I do this? Absolutely. This is great for absolute beginners. Um, I don't have a lot of time. First of all, hogwash. Everybody has time, right? You're telling me you can't find 30 minutes in the morning or in 30 minutes in the, in the afternoon? Guys, it's impossible, right? If you watch TV, you can have time, right? Now, the beauty is, for the projects that we do on average, I spend between one and two hours on a project. So I don't need 50 hours to create a project any darn way. So you don't need a lot of time. Can I afford to do this? My question is, can you afford not to do this, right? Um, absolutely you can. When we're making CDs and DVDs, uh, on average, I'm spending about 10 to $15 uh, to send my initial order to Amazon, right? Now, can you do more? Sure, one of my students just sent in 500 yesterday. All right. And, and so that's going to cost them, you know, probably 600 bucks to do that. Um, but for me, I'm sending in 10 to 15. So it's a, it's a whole lot less for me. Um, does this still work today? Well, let's ask, is Amazon going out of business? Hmm, don't think so. Did humans stop reading? No. So looks like this still works today. People still look for content. People still buy content and Amazon still sells a ton of product. So guys, who wants to take this to the next Level is that if that is you, type it into the chat box. Let me see who is ready to take things to the next level. Let's see here what we got. 
Boom. You guys are awesome. Look at all those. Yes. Patricia, Anthony, Martin, Nelson, um, Felicia, Carla, Jillian. You guys are awesome. First of all, I made you a promise when I started this training. Hopefully, I've been able to over-deliver on that promise, like I said. And hopefully, you guys had some amazing head-blown moments. Because trust me, when I first saw this, it was a head-blown. And I wish I had thought about it 10 years before. So let me tell you about our training, which is the Amazon Profit System. Basically, this is a step-by-step -step training for absolute beginners and intermediate marketers who want to create an automated Amazon income stream without having to spend a ton of money doing that, which is going to allow you to make more money than you've ever made with less effort than what a traditional business takes. Guys, when I created this program, I thought about myself when I was terrified to do anything on Amazon. And then I had an eight-year-old kick my butt. And I said, you know what? What was it like for me when I knew nothing on Amazon. So I made sure that I did not leave anything out. So if you've never sold anything before online, I assume that you've never sold anything before and we didn't leave anything out. Now, if you are an intermediate marketer, in other words, you're starting to understand things a little bit. You're starting to make some sales here and there, maybe not as consistent as you like. So you're working on some things. Well, this is great for you as well. Why? Because when a project only takes you one to two hours to create, it's not going to take away from what you're already doing. You can keep working your job. You can keep building your other business. This could be your side hustle. Now, if you're advanced, let me tell you what happens when I tell my advanced folks what we're doing uh, and some of my top internet marketing friends. First thing they say is, oh, I want to scale. I want to create 100 products. I want to put a team together. So if you're advanced, that's where you're going to be thinking. So what are you going to get with this training? First of all, you're going to get the complete step-by-step -step home study program. We cover every step that you need to be successful. I'm going to show you how to find the most profitable niches that fall within the category that we want, right? That's that sweet spot that it's not the big competitive markets, but it's enough that I can make some sales and I can do more of them. Uh, I'm going to show you the strategy that I use to guarantee that the products I create are going to make some sales. Now, I showed you a little bit today, but we go into more details. I don't think I've ever put a product on Amazon that didn't make sales, okay? So how do you create your content in an afternoon? Look, I don't want to spend six months writing content. Uh, my record is a piece of content that I created, I think, took me about two hours to, to do that. And I've sold seven figures in sales for that particular content. Now, Kits. I told you about kits. Now, do you have to create a kit? The answer is no. Um, should you create a kit? Yeah, because they're infinitely more prof uh, profitable than other markets. Because number one, very few people have kits online. So that means your product is in instantly different than everybody else. And not only is it different, but now you're selling it at two, even three times the price. So you're getting more clicks for your product and you're selling it at a higher price than other people. So you, you can make more money. So I recommend uh, doing kits. Now, there's another kit that I call a product kit. I didn't get to show you that today, but we do teach you that inside of the training. I'm going to show you how to reach your customers globally, even outside of Amazon. So people always ask me, well, should I sell in another country? I'm going to tell you something. You should sell in every single country there is right you if you're in the u.s you should be in canada mexico uk australia no matter what country you are in at some point you should be in every single channel that amazon has and once you do that then you go to walmart.com then you go to etsy.com then you go to ebay.com right then you put it on your website and then you advertise in google in facebook in youtube Guys, once you've got that work in products, right? What are you, what's the next step? Distribution. Don't just limit to Amazon. You should be globally everywhere, okay? Uh, by the way, I don't have a single product that has sold on my website that doesn't sell on Amazon and vice versa. I don't have a single product on Amazon that also does not sell on my website. So what does that tell you? Once you find that working product, it sells everywhere, okay? So... How to build a massive buyer list for free. I gave you a short example of that today, but we're going to give you details on how to implement that. Uh, how to find hidden keywords that will explode your sales. Remember, Amazon is about the keywords. They're a buyer search engine. And here's the thing. 
Amazon has no idea what you sell. When you send that DVD case uh, to Amazon or cheat sheet or flashcard, Amazon has no idea what, what's on your flashcards. They have none. You know how they know? Through the keywords that you use, that you tell them what's in your product. That's a little secret there that most people don't realize, okay? I'm gonna show you how to find the right keywords so that Amazon knows exactly what you're selling and puts you in front of the people who are searching. Now, your listing, your listing is what people see when they get to Amazon. And let me tell you the mistake most people make. Most people think their listing is a description of their product. Uh-uh, guys, that's not what your listing is. Your listing is a sales letter with keywords. Let me repeat that. Your listing is a sales letter with keywords. So our listings don't look like what everybody else's listings look like because they think they're describing a product. I'm not selling a product. I'm, I'm not uh, describing a product. I'm selling a product. So we show you how to do that and you get to watch me create the listing and how we incorporate the keywords uh, in that. Now, how to rank instantly. Do you want to rank slow or do you want to rank instantly? Well, again, part of it is the keywords and some other things that we do. And again, to prove that point, one of my students who sent me a screenshot, I'm going to show you uh, him in a second, but his product went live yesterday. And in the first day, he made his first sale. Think about that. Very first day, he made his first sale. And then how to scale your business. So I'm going to show you all the different ways uh, that we scale uh, our business. So what is the uh, what you're going to get or how you're going to get it? The trainings are recorded. They're inside the members area. So you can start going through the training immediately after this training here. Um, and so there's no time for you. you can, and if you want to go through it in one day, you can do that. If you want to go through the course of the next week, you can do that. Totally up to you. Um, there's a private uh, Q&A form. So here's what that means. If you have a question, I've got your answers. Guys, if it's a marketing question, you submit that, comes to me. I answer each and every one personally myself. I invest a ton of time into my students. Now, if you've got a question about your username and passwords not working, send that to my admin. Let my admin handle those. But anything marketing or Amazon related, I will take care of those myself. Now, I'm also going to give you not only lifetime access to the training, but I'm also going to allow you and a business partner to have access to the training at the same time. And let me tell you why I did that. I partner with people all the time. And sometimes we pool our money together and we'll buy a course. And then we go to log in and come to find out only one of us can log in at a time. And I'm like, well, that sucks, right? So I didn't want to do that to you. So we programmed our back end to allow you and a business partner to be able to log in at the same time. I think it's a great idea to have a business partner, even if it's for your first project, then after that, you can go on your own. But we've allowed you and your business partner to do that. So you're going to get the complete step-by-step -step home study program, total value $1,000. $997, okay? Guys, let me give you some bonuses, right? Number one, remember I told you about the perfect customer experience that we use that uh, got us more reviews? I'm gonna give you the whole system. Now, it cost me $40 and uh, 30 minutes of my time. That is an $897 value. So you're gonna get the Azon uh, Profit System Training. You're gonna get the Creating the Perfect Customer Experience. Total value, $2,894. And let me tell you this, money replenishes itself. I had a very big internet marketer tell me that. Money replenishes itself. I said, what do you mean by that? And what he said made a lot of sense. He says, think about it. What happens? People get paid on the first and they pay a bill, pay, pay the mortgage, the car payment. What happens on the 15th? They get another check. They pay some more bills. They pay vacation money. They pay the utilities. Does your time do the same thing? And the answer is no. When you miss your son's basketball game, um, when you miss your daughter's recital, do you get that time back? I'm going to tell you a true story. When uh, my son was, boy, it, actually he was, I was working this corporate job. They had me on planes and I hated it. So we just got the house and I do not remember the first time my oldest son walked, I don't, I have zero recollection collection of him saying mommy or daddy. I don't even know who he said first. I don't remember most of his first year of life. 
Now, I'm not a deadbeat dad. In fact, I'm the guy that has all the speed, the teachers on speed dial, right? But why is it I missed out on that? Because I was doing what everybody told me to do. You go out and you work and you support your family. Well, that meant that I missed a lot of that. Now, let's fast forward. When my son was about almost a year, that's when I started my own business. Now, let's talk about my next two kids, right? Do you want to know what... I remember picking up my son from, from the daycare and I'd walk to the door and as soon as he heard me, he'd turn around and he would start running right to me, right? I have that memory. Why? Because I had the ability to pick him up at the daycare. When it was, you know, all pro dads, every Friday morning, 7 a.m., I was at all pro dads at the school. When it was, you know, things like, you know, Thanksgiving Day um, lunch or brunch, I was the only dad that would be at Thanksgiving Day brunch or lunch, whatever it is. When COVID happened, you know what we did during COVID? We played basketball and we played video games all day because I had the ability to do that. Now, I didn't have that back then. So use an asset, which is money that replenishes itself to give you an asset that doesn't, which is time. Now, bonus number two, guys, when you, outsourcing is not where you're gonna start, right? Uh, but once you start to figure things out, and once you're ready to scale, it's much easier to outsource it and scale when you're outsourcing, right? Right now, when I first started, I had more time than I had money. So I did everything myself. Now I've been in the game for almost 20 years. Now I got more money than I have time. So I would rather pay someone to do that for me. And now with ChatGPT, man, it's amazing what we can do with the AI. So you're going to get the Azon Profit System, creating the perfect customer experience. Uh, you're going to learn how to outsource everything. That's a $3,991 value. And the truth is, information alone is not enough. You want proof? There's a lot of people who go to college and get a four-year degree and can't get a job. If information alone was enough, those people would be six, seven-figure earners, right? What is the key? The key is having a mentor, having someone who can shortcut the process for you. And hopefully you guys see that I am that person that can help shortcut that process for you today. Now, bonus number three, I didn't get to talk about this, but remember I said Amazon's all about the keywords. So we built a tool that I can put a bunch of keywords in and then it goes to Amazon and it analyzes and it says, well, these keywords you're gonna get to the top of Amazon for and these keywords don't even waste your time. Right. So the tool actually lets me know where to go and where not to waste my time. That is an eight hundred and ninety seven dollar value. Bonus number four. And this one, guys, is powerful. Remember, I said the best thing to do uh, to upsell is somebody who's already purchased from you. Well, what's the best form of content that you can upsell that person? How about a monthly recurring membership? Imagine this. Amazon sells your product and now you can take that customer and roll them into a monthly recurring membership site where you're charging 10, 20, $30 per month doing that. And I also teach you where to go get your content for your membership site. You'll be surprised just how easy that is. Now, this bonus is only available for the first 15 people. So I'd like to reward the action takers, right? Now this one is a $997 value. So money or excuses, guys. Even though you see money and excuses on the page at the same time. These two words cannot coexist in your life at the same time. Think about this. People who make money don't make excuses. People who make excuses don't make money. So you have to choose money or excuses. When I quit my job in 97 and that boss told me, when I tell you to do something, you do it, or oh, I chose money. I said, I'm out of here. <laughs> if I could do it for you, I could do it for myself. And that's how I decided to start my own business. So you're going to get the Azon Profit System, $1,997 value, creating the perfect customer experience. You're going to learn how to outsource everything. You're going to get the Void Finder software. You're going to get the Amazon upsell system, the first 15 of you, and learn how to upsell your customers into a membership site. Total value, $5,285. And if all you did today you didn't launch two, three, four, five products. You did one. But what if that one product did $1,000 a month on autopilot the rest of your life? Would it be worth an investment today of $5,285 to do that, right? Well, 
let's do the math. Let's say a thousand dollars a month, 12 months, that's 12,000 a year. And let's say for 10 years, that's uh, $120,000. Okay. What would it take for you to yield $120,000 if you were investing in the stock market? Uh, now, assume you're getting an 8% return in the stock market. Okay, let's go 10% because I can't do the math on 8%. So you're getting a 10% return in the stock market. Okay, so what does it take to get $120,000? You would need $1.2 million. You get 10% of that. That's $120,000. How many of you have $1.2 million lying around to start a business to make $120,000? Right? That's not realistic. So would it be worth $5,285 to be able to do that? Absolutely. In fact, we've got um, a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. That's what we're selling there for. It's $5,000. But we're going to do something special for you guys today so you don't have to worry about uh, investing into, into our the high-end coaching program or the one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to do something special for you. What you want to do right now to get started with the Amazon Profit System for just one payment of $497 is go to azonprofitsystem.com forward slash little. Um, I'm going to try to type that in. Let's see. I'm not the perfect typist. So if you guys could click on that and let me know. See that? I already had a typo in there. I would got it wrong. Okay, let me know if that link works. I think it should work. Uh, again, uh, one payment of $497. All you want to do is go to azonprofitsystem.com forward slash little and little is L-Y-T-T-L-E. -T -T -E. Now, I do want to, you know, we are going to give you a 30-day money back guarantee. Uh, if after 30 days you find that uh, the system is not exactly as we've described, then please allow me to buy the program back from you. Now, let me give you the caveat. Who am I looking for? I'm not looking for everyday people. I'm looking for people who are serious. I'm looking for people who want to change their lives. I'm looking for people who are going to take action. If that's not you, guys, don't get started because I don't want to be talking with you about refunds in 30 days because you didn't want to do any work. Okay. Plus, I'm going to invest a lot of time into your success. So what does that mean? It's not fair to me. And it's also, remember, we have bonuses that are only available to the first 15 people, that means you're taking up someone's spot if you're not serious. So I, I want you to be serious if you're ready to get started. Now, let me show you some more stats, what happened after the first six months. We got to $6,639. We got to $13,950 in a month. We got to $14,649 a month, $17,213. One day, $923. My third best month, I think we did $43,181.08. Guys, that's not bad for a little business that my wife was making fun of me, right? Telling me what's wrong with you is $9.95. Do you guys still think she's making fun of me now? Nope, not no more, right? So now let me tell you about James. James purchased my course. It was September uh, 2016. Now, James sends me an email, and in that email, um, by the way, guys, he sends me this email literally um, in the first week of November, which is 40 days after he got started. And it's a screenshot where he made $3,492. I don't know how the heck he did that, to be honest with you, because that's a lot of sales especially that quick. I was like, wow, even I didn't do that one. Right. Well, two weeks later, he sends me another one. He did 6,324. Two weeks after that, he's at $10,145, almost 11,000, 60 days after getting started. And if you think that's good, let me show you what James did in one year. He did $510,695. By the way, James is the student that uh, launched his new uh, CD yesterday and made his first sale on his first day. That was James. Okay. Now, James is not an average guy. He is a massive action taker. I mean, he takes action even better than I do. Right. I, listen, I got to give credit where credit is due. Right. He is good like that. I wish I was like he was, uh, but he's a massive action taker. Okay. And look at the results because of the action uh, that he takes. Now, let me tell you about my student, Mike from the UK. So, all my international folks. Okay. 
Mike launched the product. And, and let me tell you, I'm going to tell you afterward what it cost him and how much time it took him to make. But let me show you. Mike launched his product. He launched it May 25th, 2021. As you can see from January or May 1st through May 24th, 2021, he had zero sales. Boom. He made 37.98 pound on his first day, which is probably like $60 US is what he made on his first day. Now, of course, Mike is saying it's only $60. What am I going to do with that? I said, Mike, don't worry, man. If, you, if this is a good product, it can take off. You don't know. By the end of the week, Mike did um, $233.88. Again, he's, he's excited, but he's really not that excited. Now, this one caught me off guard as well. Look at that. From August through July, um, he did 18 I mean, August, from August through September, he did uh, $18,684.21 uh, pounds. So which means this is probably about 25, maybe that range in U U.S. dollars. And I was like, dude, that's amazing. Look at this. One day in September 2021, he did 1,363. Guys, this is literally three months after he started the business. Okay. Look at this. Look at his conversion rate, guys. 51%. 50%, 34%, uh, 34%, 3%. That means one out of every two people who saw his product bought it. How crazy is that? One out of every two. So look at this. Black Friday, 2021, $4,595. Now, I was surprised. I'm like, Mike, you're in the UK. Why would your sales go up on Black Friday? You guys don't have Black Friday. That's an American holiday. I don't understand it, but Mike's not complaining, right? Now, if you think that's good, how about this? From May 25th, 2021 through May 25th, 24th, 2022. So his first full year in business, Mike did 631,951 pounds. Guys, is that good? Let me know in the chat box. Is that a head blown moment? Is that good? His first full year in business, he was able to do that. Let me look at the Q&A. Right? How awesome is that, guys? Now, let me show you something. If you thought that was good, huh, look at what he did 2023. He did 1 million 202,550 pounds, which comes out to 1.5 million US. Guys, now let me tell you how long it took Mike to create his product and what it cost. It cost him less than $100 to make the product and less than seven hours to create the product. He took $100 in seven hours and turned that into 1.5 million. U.S. So when I tell you, do you have to work 50,000 hours? No. Do you have to go out and spend a million dollars to do it? No, you don't, right? So um, now, so why $497 and not $10? Guys, really simple. I could have sold the $10 item, put it on JVZoo, ClickBank, one of those places. But guess what? When you call me up and say, Greg, I need help. You know what the answer is? Sorry, I can't help you. You only paid $10. How much... Can I, you know, um, invest, right? There's no incentive. So I said, look, the option number two, yes, it does require a little bit more investment, sure. But at least in exchange, I can devote more resources to guarantee your success. When you call me and you have a problem, I could be there for you, right? That's why that is. But I will let you know, you're not going to get this price forever. Number one, we've already went to our higher price point. Last week I did the webinar uh, and we were at $1,997 for the training. You need to thank Alicia and Lorette because they say, can I do it again for you guys at the discounted price? And I said, sure. There aren't very many people who are going to be able to convince me to do that. But Alicia and Lorette are family to me. I mean, these two ladies have ch absolutely changed my life. So I was like, absolutely. 
uh, I'm going to do that for you. So you guys can get in at the discounted price. Now, I'm going to let you know we're only going to allow 25 people into the program, and here's the reason why. I used to not have a limit, and one time we had a bunch of people signed up. And let me tell you what happened. Uh, I did not change my level of support that I gave people. Uh, so I still kept the same level of support, but it was three times as many people. Oh boy, let me tell you, I was miserable for probably three or four months. My wife will tell you, I was an awful grump. And um, I, I promised her, A, I wouldn't do that again. And B, I promised myself I wouldn't do that again because I'm not going to lie to you. It was not easy and it, it was not fun. It was it was a lot of work. So we're only going to allow 25 people into the program, but I have a couple more good bonuses for you guys. Number one, we got a group Q&A call and um, you get access to three of them. These are live calls. This is me, you, and probably 15 people that are going to be on this call. It's only me answering the questions, so that's why I can't have 25, 30, 40 people on, on the group calls. I can't duplicate myself. I haven't figured that out yet. So um, that's a $500 value. Matter of fact, our next group call is going to be this week coming up, so you definitely want to get started uh, ASAP. Now, let me give you some other hot bonuses. Oh, before I tell you about that, fear or curiosity, true story. Uh, those are the only two emotions that govern every decision you make. It's either you're fearful, oh my God, is this thing gonna work? Or it's, oh my God, what if this thing actually does work, right? Fear or curiosity, every decision you make. My parents came to this country um, in the late 60s and they were terrified of flying. I don't know how they came to the United States. And my mom, so we moved to Georgia in 2008. Between 2008 and 2021, my mom passed August 2021. Uh, and in between that time, I think my mom came to my house twice. And the reason why is she says, well, what if it's raining when we're coming back? What, what if the plane has a mechanical issue? What if it's storming? What if it's this? What if it's thunder? I mean, it was always what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. And what happened is she missed a lot of time watching her grandkids grow up. Um, I missed a lot of opportunities getting to hang out with her as well. And I look back now and I'm going to be honest, sometimes I feel I regret moving to Georgia because I missed all that time um, being able to see my, my mom. Now, my dad, he passed almost a year to the date of my mother, which is the craziest thing. Um, but my dad was so afraid of flying that he took a bus from New York City to Las Vegas. Took him four days to get there. True story. But my dad also had a curiosity about him. When he passed, I was doing his eulogy. And I had to go through his stuff to, you know, write the eulogy. And I'm looking through a picture. And I said to my sister, I said, hey. Why does that look like he's on a cruise? And she goes, yeah, he took a cruise every year. And I said, how the hell did I not know that? I'm like, why well, did he get there? <laughs> right? Um, then I saw a picture he was in Germany. I saw a picture he was in the UK. I saw a picture he was in Spain. Um, he was at the, the Vatican in Rome with the Pope. He was in, at the Eiffel Tower. And I said to my sister, I was like, what the hell? How did, when did this happen? So you know what I learned about my dad, and unfortunately I learned this after he had passed, was his curiosity to see the world was way more powerful than his fear of flying. He was like, I could die on this plane. I'm probably gonna die on this plane, but I need to see the world. So my dad lived a curious life. My mom was a very fearful life. She's never been anywhere outside of Stanford, Connecticut. Um, and I wish I'd known that about my dad before, but unfortunately, uh, I didn't. So guys, live the curious life. You only got one life. You could always focus on what you can't do, or you can focus on what you can do and what your possibilities are. That's where you want to be. So guys, let me give you some, bo some uh, bonuses again for the first 15 of you who take action. Remember I told you we figured out 
how to sell our products in a digital format and have people go to our website and download the content, I'm going to teach you how we did that. I'm going to tell you in all honesty, out of all the products I've looked at on Amazon, I've only found one person who's doing this. So this is not something that people recognize that they have the ability to do. So I am going to uh, absolutely show you that. Okay. Number two, I'm going to show you um, how to create your course with AI. Now, you guys should be AI experts already, but we're talking for Amazon. We have a whole module for the first 15 of you who take action. Um, and I am going to show you how to be able to use AI to create full length courses and trainings on, uh, that you're going to sell on Amazon. You would be amazed. I just created a piece of a content for a course. I mean, a very, probably four or five hour course, video course. It took me all about 15, 20 minutes to do that. I'm going to show you exactly the process. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to show you guys my list of the top 250 niche markets that I went out and I researched. Now, why, why did I create this list? Remember when I told you I had a student who said to me, but you're a guru, that's why you can do it. So I went out um, and I said, let me go in and um, put this list together so I can use for myself. That's why I did that. Funny thing is, all of the products that I created in that account are still on that list. So when I give you that list, I'm giving you the list that actually has some of my products on there. But I'm not going to tell you which one of my products are on that list. Because if I did that, then every single one of you, that's all you're going to create. And then that's going to create extra competition for me and extra competition for, for you guys. But just know I'm going to give you um, the, the full list that uh, I have there. Okay. So, guys, what are you going to get? The Azon Profit System Step-by-Step -step Training, $1,000. $997 value. Uh, you're going to get to creating a perfect customer experience, $897 value. You're going to learn how to outsource everything. That is a $497 value. The Void Finder software, $897 value. The first 15 of you will learn how to upsell your customers into a membership site. That is a $997 value. Um, the live group calls, that's a $500 value. Um, the first 15 of you will learn how to sell your courses on Amazon. That is a $1,000 dollar value, sell it as a digital format, fully downloadable. Uh, and the first 15 of you will get my hot niche market. That's uh, 250 hot niche markets. That's a $1,000 value. And the first 15 of you will learn how to create your courses using AI. Guys, total value $8,785. All you got to do right now is go to azonprofitsystem.com forward slash little, right? So guys, is this easy. People ask me all the time, is this easy? Now, I'm going to tell you something. I didn't get to where I am and get a nice, beautiful office here thinking things are hard. If I thought, if I went out thinking that way, I'd never take action. But here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to let you decide. I'm going to show you something in a second. But when my dad came from the United States. I mean, came from Haiti to the United States, making a dollar an hour. We lived in the worst neighborhood in Stanford, Connecticut. We got robbed twice when we were inside the house. In other words, they broke in in the middle of the night, two, three in the morning, right? Those are not good people who break into your house at two, three in the morning because you got to know somebody's in the house and you did it anyway, okay? So my dad was messaging his friends back home and he's saying, I made it. You wouldn't believe this. You know why? He told his friend, because uh, my dad was telling me the story. So he told his friend that, he goes, hey, there's a room. I go in the room. I sit on the, the toilet. And then I push a button and the poop goes whoosh, and disappears into the floor. I don't even know where it goes. You want to know why? Because in Haiti, you, you have an outhouse. And I visited Haiti as a kid. Let me tell you something. I grew up in Stanford, Connecticut. And when I got there and I said to my grandmother, I, I need to use the bathroom. And she pointed to a box. And I was like, uh, what's that for? I'm looking for the bathroom. We have little gold or white porcelain seats in the United States. I'm not going in that box. 
And so she was like, well, that's the outhouse. And let me tell you, that was not fun. If you've never been in an outhouse, I promise you, you don't ever want to go inside of an outhouse. That is not fun. My dad called his friend. He was like, I take a shower in the house. I turn the knob and the water comes out of the wall. You know how they do it in Haiti? You go to the basin with a big old bucket and you scoop the water out of the basin. Then you go around the corner, you lather up, and then you throw the water on yourself to, to wash the lather off. Don't miss any lather. Because if you do, you got two options. Either you go out wherever you're going full of lather or you walk back to the basin, you get more water, and then you throw it on yourself. And then you go tell your mother that you use two buckets of water instead of one. Oh, you're going to get a beat down for that. So that's hard, guys. My dad got on a plane and came to this country. That's hard. Let me show you what happened. The last marketing cruise that we went on. We go on a marketer's cruise every year. Haven't been on since COVID, unfortunately. Um, but this is one of the last ones we went on. January uh, 20, um, January, let me move this out of the way so I could see. January 19th through January 28th, 2018. There's all of us having a good old time. Matter of fact, Alicia and Loretta has been on this as well. Always having a great time. Let me show you the sales we did that week. I'm in the middle of the ocean. No internet, no phone, no ability to make sales calls, no ability to do webinars, no ability to do coaching calls, no ability to do anything. And I did $4,890.15 that week. Now, mind you, as you can see at the chart at the bottom, how it went down to zero, I ran out of inventory in the middle of the, the week. I don't know why it ran out because I had sent enough inventory uh, for it to last me two, three weeks, but there was a spike in sales. And those happen every once in a while. Well, that spike in sales meant I went to zero inventory while I was in the middle of the ocean. I had no way to fix that problem because I'm in the middle of the ocean. But I still did $4,890, even though I lost most of my sales that week, that week. So if you ask me if this is easy, I know what my answer is, but I'm going to let you determine what that is for you. So you have two choices today, guys. Do nothing. As a matter of fact, do the same thing. Thing you did yesterday and then ask yourself why is today the same result in fact I'm gonna tell you what if you woke up this morning and you said to yourself honestly I am not where I should be I am not where I deserve to be whether emotionally or even financially right if your life is not where you deserve it to be don't be mad at today don't be mad at this morning because that's not what got you here what got you here was yesterday, last week, the week before. It's the decisions you made then that gave you the results that you have here today. And if you want tomorrow to be any different, don't wait till tomorrow to make that choice. Today is when you have to make that choice. So you have to decide, am I going to do something different or am I going to do the same? Am I going to find somebody who could mentor me and teach me and show me how to do something? Am I going to live the curious life or am I going to live the same old life that I've had in the past? Hopefully, you choose the right step. So you've seen how fast I got started. You've seen the proof, right? I showed you screenshots. I've shown you my students. Um, you've seen this is consistent. Amazon is not going anywhere, right? You've seen that this doesn't cost much to do, right? What does it cost to make a, a bunch of CDs or flashcards or cheat sheets? You know, do you know um, 100 flashcards or cheat sheets cost you $18 to make, right? So it doesn't cost me a ton of dollars, um, but here's the beauty. You're not partnering with me. Your partner is Amazon. Don't forget that, guys. Amazon is your partner. I am just the person who's doing this successfully, has helped others, who's going to be able to teach you and help shortcut the process for you as well. So guys, get started today. There's only one, left, one thing left for you to do, and that is to take action. And that is to go to azonprofitsystem.com forward slash little. Again, L-Y-T-T-L-E and get started. Now, some of you have asked, is there a payment plan? There is an option for a payment plan once you get into the uh, members area uh, that you can uh, take part in. Now, I do have some time. So if there are some questions, questions that I can answer. Let's do that. Let's see. Hey, Greg, Deidre in here. Hi, guys. 
Um, uh, so someone had a people was asking about on PayPal. payment. If you guys, let's see. Let me just double check, make sure that there are no issues there. One second, guys. Uh, while I do that, go ahead and type in your questions. Okay, it does look like some of you uh, were able to get in. So the payment is working. Now, someone asked about PayPal. I'm going to put my email address in here. Um, so if you wanted to get PayPal, we'll have to send you a link for that. Um, and if you can also, if you are interested in PayPal, type that in so that Alicia and Lorette can also uh, be able to forward that information to you as well. Uh, okay, make sure I got that correct. That looks correct, there it is. So for those of you who said that you're having either any issues with PayPal or you had issues trying to place the order, wouldn't accept your payment, um, just shoot me an email and also um, Alicia and Lorette as well. And then we will uh, get that sorted out for you. Okay, let's see. Wonder. Perfect, Lena. We'll make sure we get that out to you. Valda, we'll get that out to you as well. So let me see if there's any... Guys, did you get some head-blown moments? Let me know. Let me know. Awesome. Awesome. Alina said yes. Awesome, guys. Let's see. Oh... Uh... Let's see. Uh, some of you said you were having some issues. What issues were you having there? Let me know so we can take a look at that uh, and get back to you after the training. Okay. Okay. If there are any more questions, guys, this is your opportunity before we take off. Looks like we did a good job. So, guys, I want to wrap up by saying, first of all, I am glad you took the time to be here. There's a lot of other things you could have uh, been doing. You could have been watching TV, whatever. But you know what? You're here improving your craft, learning uh, and becoming better internet marketers by becoming the best. Remember, this is your craft. It's not a hobby. And when it's your craft, you want to be the best. And no one can take the knowledge that you get away from you. There's a thing that I like to say, which is, a mind expanded can never contract back to its original state, right? A mind expanded can never contract back to its original state. Now, right now we are at, it looks like um, six people have signed up. So we still have about seven or, you see, I'm terrible with math, seven or eight spots left uh, for the first 15. And I'm sure once um, Alicia and Lorette send out the replay emails. Those are going to go by fast. Now, for those of you who put in PayPal, you're having issues, I will reserve your spot for you, even though um, that's an issue on our end. So we'll fix that. We'll reserve that spot for you guys. Um, so you're, you're good there. Um, the payment plan is two payments. So first payment today, and then the second payment is in uh, 30 days. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure I understand this question. Do you see the UK students having to tweak the USA style training? Uh, 
are you asking, do the, the folks in the UK have to do anything different in the UK? Um, if that is the question, it, it's the same thing. Um, and the funny thing is most people thought Amazon is big in the US and small everywhere else. My student in the UK is, he made 1.6 million, whatever the number was, only in the UK. He's not selling in the United States. As a matter of fact, what he told me was his product could not be sold in the United States. And you know what my answer was? I said, come on, you're killing me. Are you telling me you built a $1.5 million product and you could only sell it in the UK? He said, yep, that's what I'm telling you. So, um, uh, okay, yes, great question, um, uh, Debo. You should always start at your home country first, 100%. Um, now here's why, because you're going to be delivering and shipping it local. The only difference between what you're going to do in your home country versus another country is I'm going to be honest with you. The big difference is the label on the box. One, you're going to be shipping up the street. One is going to have to get on a plane and go across the ocean. That really is the only difference. And okay. I'm going to show you guys something. Uh, Let's go to, let's close this one here. Let's move this. Okay, right here, we're on Amazon um, US. Learn, guitar, Gibson. Oops. Type that in the wrong place. Okay, now you see that product right here? Learning Master Guitar. Okay, let's go to Amazon uh, Mexico. Okay, now let's type in Learn guitar, Gibson. There's the single version of that product. Let's see if we can find the group picture. Okay, there it is right there on the right. Let's go amazon.ca for Canada. Learn Guitar Gibson. There's a single version of the product, but let's find a group shot. And there it is there as well. So does that answer that question? So the all, notice the products were all the same. Now in Mexico, it had Spanish language on there, but those are three different countries. So the only difference between product one, two, and three was the label. The label on box one went to Mexico. The label on box two went to Canada. And the label on box three went to, to the United States. Okay. Hopefully that made some sense. Um, so, yeah, typically for uh, Debo, if you have a question, you, you shoot them over. Uh, usually within 24 hours, we'll get back to you. So not really an hour's thing. It's, it's within 24 hours. We'll get back to you on, on any questions uh, that you have. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, the group calls. Okay, group calls, typically we do them at 2 p.m. Eastern, which is 7 p.m. UK when we have them. And then afterward, I put them in the members area so you'll have access to it after that as well. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, typically um, on Mondays, every once in a while, um, it'll be on a Tuesday, but usually they're on a Monday when I do them. All right, guys, last chance. Let's see if there are any last minute calls.
or questions that, that you may have. Um, yep, awesome, Debo. We'll make sure we get that link out to you. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it's Debo or Debo. Let me know. Okay, guys, so again, I wanna thank you guys for being here. I enjoyed it immensely. Um, I just love, first of all, I love talking marketing. I love talking to Amazon. But hopefully you guys see this is an opportunity for you to build a business that finally is not going to be something that will require you to work 80, 90 hour weeks and you need a PhD to be able to do this. Anybody can do this. If an eight-year-old girl can do it, you can do it. And by the way, the eight-year-old girl was selling a physical product. That's the hard stuff. She wasn't doing content like we're doing. She was selling the hard stuff. And if she can do that, then you guys can as well. Someone is saying the link. Let me type that in again for you guys. Or slash. Let me put it back on the screen for you. So there is the link again. Um, Sonia, I will check that out and see what's going on and uh, get back to you. Uh, make sure you type in your email uh, or your info if you want us to, to contact you as well. All right, guys. So this looks like that is all the questions. Again, I want to thank you guys. Have a wonderful uh, evening. And um, any questions that we see in the chat, we will get back to you guys uh, as soon as possible. All right, guys.